Alright guys, it's Danny from Inglorious Fishing. It's currently low water and we're going out to go and dig some ragworm. We're going to go fishing tonight, baby. We're going to go for some bass down the local harbour. I've uh, been fishing down there lightly. You see on the last video, we went there and we had a bass. We went there a couple of weeks ago we had a couple of bass. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned and I'll give you a glimpse of where I'm going to go and dig the bait. We're going to try a new location today. Hopefully we can get some. It's Inglorious Fishing. So, guys, I've never dug around here. Um... I'm gonna give it a little go. It's just outside the harbour at St. Sampson's now. I'm just gonna go and dig where that green weed is, where it's a little bit rocky, in hope that we can get a few ragworm, logworm, white bait, anything like that, anything that uh, a bass would go for, the old Billy Bass. So, uh, yeah, beautiful little walk out here. It's absolutely fantastic today. Uh, we've got a little bit of an onshore breeze, so I, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up or not. It probably will, but. Uh, yeah, we'll do our best and uh, yeah, we'll start digging and hopefully we can find some logworm casts or stuff like that and we can get digging some bait. Well guys, anyone would think Smash Fishing's been here. Look how big that shank of claw is. Absolutely massive in there. Loads of shells and stuff like that, guys. Spider crab shells. So yeah, let's get digging and hopefully we can find some worms. So guys, this is a change of plan. Uh, I've had a few digs around here and there's absolutely nothing on the outside. So uh, we're going to go around to the other side, which is over there. We'll head over there and see if we can get any there, guys. So uh, stay tuned. It'll be a short little drive there. Hopefully we can get you some ragworm. Guys, unfortunately, we came down digging here and we've got absolutely nothing here as well. So it's going to be a bit of a bait digger mission, this video. And uh, we're going to hop in the van gonna go and try another location now uh, we need some worms i have got some at home for tonight's session but it'd be nice to get a few more i just found a lovely little hermit crab shell look at that guys so i'll keep that for little connor he loves shells so anyway stay tuned we're gonna get into the van get to the next location hopefully we'll find some worms i don't care what they are ragworm logworm as long as they're worms baby so guys i just met up with kilo keith down at lelay dog a few worms and here it is guys i didn't record any of it but that's them there guys absolutely fantastic ragworms we're going to be using them tonight not as big as the stuff that i have been getting but all in all it's still ragworm so hopefully it'll catch us the basso wasso so uh yeah stay tuned and the next time you see us we're going to be starting fishing down at the bridge hope you enjoy the fishing session guys Hi right, guys, we've arrived down to Sampson's Harbour and we're going to go fishing for the bass again. So it's a bass fishing session. We dug the ragworm earlier, uh, which you've just been watching. And yeah, so uh, got the gorilla rods out. I'll give you a run through them and uh, get the bait on. We'll get them out there and start fishing. Hopefully get a few basso wassos, guys. So uh, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get some of them fine fish. So guys, rods I'm using. You all know what rods I use. My Tronic Pro Gorilla Rods. They're 13 foot, 4 to 7 ounce. They're beasts of rods. I'd say slightly heavy for this sort of fishing, but hey, they'll do. And uh, we're using Pem 525 reels, Mag 2s. They're my ultimate reel for shore fishing, guys. No level one, just a uh, yeah, cracking bait cast and reel. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'll give you a quick run through of what we're using as well. We're using three way swivels, um, two hook flapper rig, I call it. A little cormoran down there, look. We're using four ounce bomber weights, um, 2 0. Cox and roll hooks we're using today. A um, couple of tractor beads on one and the other one's a bit plain. So, got 25 pound new main line on the reels. 20 pound body for our uh, main body of the rigs. And then on the traces also. So, uh, yeah, it's getting rigged up with some ragworm. Get them out there and hopefully we can get that bow going. So guys, we baited up the first one. Some ragworm there. I'm just using the dead stuff first, then we'll get to the good stuff later. I'll give you a glimpse of the bait once I get to the good stuff, but it's a fantastic evening. Perfect for fishing, baby. So two hours till high water. So let's get these bass. Beautiful. So guys, got both rods out, and also I've pulled out the drop net straight away. Now, we don't want the same as yesterday when we lost that big wrasse, so we've got the drop net down there, in case we get any big fish, any big wrasse, any bass, stuff like that. So yeah, stay tuned, Kilo Keith's there, Ant's there as well, we're all fishing. Hopefully, get a few fish, baby. 
Just getting some taps on this near side rock, guys. Something's definitely playing with it. False alarm, guys. So, guys, I was just having a knock on this out of rod here. Well, this rod near closest to me. Definitely a bite then. Just waiting to see if there's any more. That seems like it could be a false alarm again. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll put the camera on if we get one. Oh, guys, look, fish on already. I just lost the fish on this rod. Fish on. I'll just turn the camera on just to tell you that I lost the fish. And I got one now. I just cast it straight into the same place. Literally only had it down two minutes. Not as big as the other fish, that's for sure. Probably a ras, because I've literally just cast it out. It looks like a ras. It looks like a ras. Not a bad one. Where's the drop net? I'm going to try and get it in the drop net, guys, because that hook's not in it very much. Guys. Beautiful. That's a lovely rass that guys. Just get it out the drop net for you. Hooked him straight into the bottom of the lip guys. Okay, get it out. I'll just get the hook out guys and I'll give you a show of him. Well guys, there we are. That's that rass there. Absolutely lovely looking fish. Check the eyes on him, guys. Prime fish, that. Big dorsal fin. Big paddle tail. Absolutely lovely fish. Now, he wants to go back. He's going absolutely mad. So, I'll try and bring the camera with me. Oh, I've still got him, guys. We've got him here. We'll get a release for you. Straight back he goes. He's just sitting there. Just catch his breath, guys. Look at him. That's a big old brass. He's just sitting there catching his breath. And look at that. Straight back down he goes. Straight back down to the depths. Hopefully, we can get a big brass or another big brass, baby. It's in glorious fishing. Get that rod back out there. Hopefully, we get a bass or a brass. Come on, the fishy. Well, guys, that was a great surprise, that wrasse. I literally just lost a fish on it. It literally pulled my whole rod over. So I thought, bugger it, I'll quickly bait back up and blast it straight back out there. And we had that wrasse. So it was a lovely fine wrasse. I should have gave it a measure, really. But, uh, yeah, hopefully get some more stongers like that. Or hopefully we get our silver shiners that we want, the old basso wassos. So, guys, this is some of the ragworm that I dug earlier. Some nice ragworm in there. Not as big as the other stuff that I've been getting. But we've still got some nice ragworms in here, some nice big sized ones, so all in all, it's not bad bait, not bad bait at all. It'll still catch the bass, but what a lovely evening to be fishing. Check that out. Can't beat that, guys. It's absolutely flat. I just wish I was allowed out of my boat so I can go and catch those turbo werbos. But hey, -oh, we still catch some fish off the shore, so like I say, hopefully we get that bass. So guys, I was just having some knocks on my rod. As you can see, it's a shore crab. He's not even hitched, guys. He's just eating my bait. Absolute pain in my ass, these. But nice little shore crab, but nonetheless. So, anyway, stay tuned. We'll chuck that one back. Get the rods out there. Hopefully, get some more fish. Well, guys, just trying to fish here, and there's a bloody seal in the harbour. So, there's no wonder why we're not getting no fish. That was absolutely ginormous, that seal. Absolutely massive. Yeah, we'll get you a glimpse of him once he pops back up, but. No, no, Peter crabs, crabs work then. Peter crabs, yeah. We're not going to get no bass. Sammy's chucked his uh, stinky Peter crabs in. That's probably why they're coming in now. Anyway, I'll get you a show of him if I can get if he pops his head back up. So guys, past the top of the tide now. Uh, high water's been upon us. That was ten minutes ago. So yeah, we haven't had many bites tonight. Look, like I said, we've just seen that big bull seal in here. So that probably, uh, yeah, probably uh, will be the reason why we're catching no fish. That's for sure. So. Uh, 
Hopefully now he's buggered off. We get a few bassy wassy. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get you some. So guys, we're just getting some pulls in on this rod. I just noticed it. Not very big bites, but definitely bites. It's still there now, guys. Whatever it is. Maybe a crab pulling on it. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I'll bring you back if there is something on there. So guys, it's just me on my own now. Ants left. Um, Kilo Keith left. So it's just me, guys. Like I said, we've had hardly any bites today. I had one big one before that's nearly took my rod in. And then we had that one with that ras. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. That seal might have hampered us here. It was a massive bull seal. You should have seen it. I couldn't get the camera quick enough. It quickly went under. I wish I did. But anyway, I'm quite hopeful. The sun's going down now, like I said. So hopefully we get a couple of fish, baby. So guys, sorry I couldn't get it on film, but we just lost a common eel right at the bottom of our feet. Uh, I tried getting it in the drop net and it just went through one of the holes in the drop net. So uh, yeah, we lost that fish, but that, at least that's another fish. So quite hopeful we could get one or two other fish, maybe a couple of pelting, maybe even a bass still. So hopefully we get one. So guys, we're having a few bites on the rods now. So hopefully it's a sign that things are going to start picking up. So uh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll get you a few more fish, guys. Hopefully, we won't lose another green eel. So, guys, it's 9 o'clock. It's uh, an hour after high water, so we're only going to be fishing here for another hour, but we're going to put loads of bait on and hope that we can get you a few more fish before the end of this session. So, one more hour to go, guys, and see how many fish we can get in that. So guys, we just had a few bites on this rod closest to me. Just waiting to see if we get another one. Now we've had loads of little bites tonight, guys. Just nothing really materialising. Like I said, we had that big bull seal that was in here before. So uh, that thing was absolutely massive. So it probably scared all the bass away. But hopefully it might just come in, have a little feed before the tide goes out. And hopefully we can get you one of these fish there. But yeah, that rod's still going. Very little taps though guys, very little taps. Anyway, I'll bring you back if it turns into a fish. So guys, second fish, the common eel again, or the green eel or the silver eel. There's plenty of names for these, but normally common eel or silver eel. Absolutely fine fish guys. Uh, he was got hooked, so I've had to cut the hook off. But the rods are going absolutely ballistic. That rod just went off like a freight train and I missed it. So. Gonna get this one back and uh, hopefully get you a few more fish. Oh well, that's number two species, baby. Straight back it goes. So guys, third species. Lovely little pelting there. Beautiful little fish. My uh, rod literally just hit the, hit the bottom and straight away I was getting bites, guys. So there's probably a few of these little pelting around, so we're going to get this one back and hopefully we can get that bass so wasso. But that's three species so far. So all in all, not a bad night. A few fish. So I hope you're enjoying it. So guys, I was just bringing my rods in, just packing them up. And we've had another green eel there. He looks a little bit worse for wear, but we're going to chuck him back anyway. He should make his way down. They're quite top eels, these. And straight back down he goes. So anyway, guys, that's it for tonight's session. Uh, we had a few pelting, we had a nice big wrasse, we lost a big fish before, and uh, yeah, a few green eels, so all in all, not a bad effort, but you can bet one thing, guys, that we'll be fishing again tomorrow, so stay tuned, I hope you like it, we'll do a bit more bait digging, a bit more fishing, and hopefully get you some fine fish, and get you through this corona, baby, and hopefully we'll be on the boat next week, so result. Anyway, if you like the channel, like, subscribe, there's going to be plenty more, guys. And we'll see you on the next fishing adventure. It's a glorious fishing. Thanks for watching.